Hey everybody, Enosh here. Welcome to another episode of How To, as today we make a Reese's Peanut Butter Chocolate and Bacon Sundae. Mmm, can't wait. Let's go. Now you may be asking me, Enosh, why chocolate, peanut butter, and bacon? Uh, what, what's up with that? To which I say, are you serious? I mean, it's chocolate, peanut butter, and bacon. These are some of the most fundamental and most awesome things ever created. Anywhere, everywhere. And so we have our basic ingredients. We have our Reese's shell, the peanut butter and chocolate kind. We have chocolate ice cream, and of course, real bacon pieces. Don't use the crunchy, crunchy hard bacos or bacon bits. Nah, use some real bacon that's chopped up and ready for you to use. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open our ice cream container. Now this ice cream is a little soft because it's been sitting out waiting for us to make the video, but that's okay. It's still, it's chocolate ice cream. Mmm, yes, yeah, scoop it up nice and uh, as much as you want really. You know, some people like a little bit and some people like a lot. And uh, I'm one of those in the uh, second category there. I like a lot of chocolate ice cream. So I'm gonna scoop it up high and uh, keep it going. Oh, I can hardly wait to get into this Sunday. I'm telling you, this is a thing of beauty. Chocolate ice cream. Mm. Let's just take a moment of silence as we appreciate chocolate ice cream. Mm. Looks good. All right, next, we're going to reach for our bacon pieces. We're going to open these up here. Oh, come on. Oh, sometimes the bacon pieces are hard to open, but that's okay. We're going to open these up, and we're going to sprinkle liberally over the chocolate ice cream with these bacon pieces. Oh, bacon and chocolate are two things that just go great together. You have your sweet, you have your savory, uh, you know, you're sweet and salty here with the bacon. And uh, because you're using these real bacon pieces, it's like actually putting bacon on your ice cream instead of just bacon bits. Next, we're gonna take our Reese's shell, and uh, I haven't prepped this properly, so I'm gonna have to open up the top here. Make sure to shake, shake it well to get it all mixed up. And uh, of course with this, you, you don't want to put this in the refrigerator because if you put it in the refrigerator, the whole thing will get hard. So make sure to leave your uh, shell out of the refrigerator once you are done. Put the cap back on here and away we go. Now some people like just a little bit. I like to, to use a crisscross pattern and just go over all of this. Now one thing that I maybe should have done would have been to uh, actually put this on first and then the bacon pieces so that it hardens up a little better but of course i'm just going to put this all around here just kind of make a nice little web all over the ice cream and bacon i'll just say this the smell of this is just heavenly if you, i wish you could be in the room right now with me as i am making this bacon sundae and that's pretty much it um we're pretty much done now uh you just get to enjoy it but before I enjoy mine, I'm going to make one for the lovely Tiftastic, who is just off screen, uh, just salivating over the prospect of having chocolate, peanut butter, and bacon all in one Sunday. So with hers, I'm gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the shell first so that that can harden up on the ice cream a little better and uh, give us a better base for our, our bacon pieces that will come later. Uh, of course, uh, when, it hits the ice, when it hits the ice cream and gets cold, it uh, firms up and creates a hard shell, thus the name shell. And then I'm gonna put some bacon on here. Now, you know what, if you've never had chocolate and bacon together, this is something you must do before you die. This is a bucket list kind of thing. And a lot of candy stores, um, you know, confectionaries, they will actually sell chocolate covered bacon. And man, you have not lived until you've had chocolate covered bacon. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put couple of cherries here on the lovely Tiftastics Sunday. We got one here. So what else have we got in here? We got two, three maybe. Look at there. So I don't I don't know. Is there any more left in here? Nope. No more left. But that's okay. Hey Three's good enough for this Sunday anyways. Hey guys, so that's how you make your Reese's peanut butter, chocolate, 
and bacon Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this maybe inspires you to go make your own Sunday. And if it did, please leave a comment down in the comment section telling us about it. Maybe you have a variation on this Sunday that you'd like to tell us about. We'd love to hear it, all right? So anyways, just leave a comment down in the comment section anyways and let us know what you think of the video. Also, you can hit like and subscribe and hit that notifications bell so that you will know the next time we put out another how-to video here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, I'm Inash, and this has been How To.